Hello everyone and welcome to the Morning Metaphysical Report. Uh, this report is for Friday, May 22nd, 2020. My name is Lysander Xanthus and I am a clairvoyant psychic and energy healer. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the astrology, numerology, and card guidance for our day ahead, as well as guiding you through several spiritual practices today. And speaking of which, today's focus is energy reset. So as we come to the end of the week, this is a day of the week where I do an extended uh, singing bowl, um, energy clearing, energy healing segment at the beginning of the report. So we are going to move right into that. So just uh, make yourself comfortable, breathe and uh, take it away. Now I'm going to be guiding us through a grounding exercise. It's important to ground your energy each day to release anything that's no longer serving you. And we're going to be doing this together now. And I'm going to be sending uh, energy to all of you to assist you in releasing even more deeply as we go through this together. So I'd like you to Imagine yourself inside of a large bubble. This is your aura. Imagine gently attached to the bottom of this bubble is a pipe that leads deep into the earth. Your energy is intelligent and will respond to your intentions. So as we focus on various types of energy to release, intend or imagine these energies draining down your bubble down into the pipe and down into the earth. And remember to breathe 
as you visualize or intend this. We release all energy that is not serving our highest good. Intend or see it flowing down and out. We release all energy that does not belong to us, all foreign energy. We release all pain, all negativity, and anything else that we are now ready to let go of, we release. Now, think of anything that you would like to release in this moment and see this as a color draining out of your bubble and down into the earth. It may be a situation, a quality about yourself, a habit, a person, anything at all. We release these things from every layer of our aura, from every chakra, from every part of our being and body. As the last of these energies drains through the bottom of your bubble, see the drain at the bottom disappear and know that your aura is sealed and complete. And that concludes our grounding. After releasing energy, it's a good practice to replenish oneself. I'm not going to be doing that through a few healing tools. So first, I have here a blessing blend, an aura spray. I'm going to be channeling its energy to you and through your energy body. This blend is called Shumario, includes, has all kinds of good things in it, such as Palo Santo, myrrh, rosemary, lavender, eucalyptus, turquoise, sage, herkimer, diamond. So I'm going to gently spray this over your energy now. Now I'm going to channel divine light, an intelligent sort, source of energy from source that knows all that you need in this moment for your highest and best good. I'm going to align and attune the chakras with this energy from top to bottom.
And next, I'm going to use this crystal and channel its energy to all of you um, to continue our healing. This is a thunder egg. I refer to this as my brain because the shape reminds me vaguely of that. And I will send you this healing energy to you now. It provides clarity and nurturing. Concludes brief interspersing of energy from that. And uh, finally, uh, one last Olex spray, and this is actually a blessed water. <laughs> Almost dropped it. So, like the prior spray, I'm going to um, spread its energy through your energy as well. see this uh, clearing the path for some of you, a lot of path clearing, dissolving obstacles. Let's take a moment to sit in this space um, after having received all this energy allowing it a moment to integrate. So we're going to sit here together in a moment of quiet. There is power not only in this moment of stillness, but the fact that we're doing it here together. Even those of you not watching this live, for time is an illusion. After receiving a healing or working of any kind, um, it's good advice to take a moment to sit in that state of being, that space, and allow yourself to really take it all in before rushing off onto the next thing or engaging in conversations or anything stimulating um, on any level. Just be. So, uh, let's take another moment to sit here. I'd like to look over comments. Uh, thanks for the feedback, everyone. I love that. I love the energy reset episode each week and uh, being able to take this extra time to uh, clear ourselves from the week we just experienced and to really set ourselves up to rest and 
uh, start again. While we are in this state of being, we are now going to move into our affirmation. So stay present. We're going to say this affirmation together three times. And uh, we'll begin in just a moment. I do encourage you um, to say it aloud with me. There is, it has a, an effect, it kind of sinks in when you say words and you hear someone, like me in this case, saying those words to you as well, you're hearing them and saying them, they really kind of have a way of digging in. We'll dive into that sometime, I think, but not right now. All right, and now we'll begin. I am clear and clean. I let go of all that has come before and live life in this moment. I am clear and clean. I let go of all that has come before and live life in this moment. I am clear and clean. I let go of all that has come before and live life in this moment. As always, if you'd like to take this affirmation forward with you in your day ahead, I encourage you to do so. And uh, just a little reminder before we move on that uh, being clear and clean and um, purity and innocence, these are states of being that we can always return to no matter what. And there's a lot of power in that space. Uh, most of all, actually just it allows us to really be fully here in the present. And for some of us, that might be difficult, but healing and change can only happen now if we are here and fully engaging. And that puts us in the best position to make the decisions that are in our best interest. So that concludes our affirmation for the day. All right. So uh, I hope everyone enjoyed the energy reset segment today. Um, Next, we are going to move into our card of the day. So the card of the day is intended to give you insight into our day ahead, May 22nd. And as always, it comes to you from the Wisdom of Avalon Oracle Cards. This is a collective message. So you may find that you resonate with parts of the message or the entirety of it, and both are perfect. This reading is for everyone watching this, whether you are watching it live or at any time you are watching this. Let's see what they have to say for our day ahead. type the title on screen and then I will read the card to you all. Today's card of course is the cat. <laughs> the cat reminds you of independence and to set healthy boundaries. Love with freedom. Do not look to own what you desire for too much attachment can lead to loss. The cat lends you its power to live freely and to remember that the adventure is just beginning. Don't forget that the cat has nine lives and always lands on its feet. It manages to get up unscathed from a fall no matter what happens. On this leg of your journey, you will emerge safe and sound, live freely, love without unhealthy attachment, 
And remember that with the cat as your companion, you may fully immerse yourself in life for there will be many more lives to come. Oh, I like that. Be present. Uh, we are eternal, but moments are not eternal. So enjoy each one. Or really, you know, just really be here in each of them. And that is the part of the day. And uh, next, I would like to share with you all the um, the numerology for the day ahead. The 22nd is a four day, and the number four relates to uh, foundation, organization, order, uh, among other things. And so the guidance or sense I have for our day ahead is really um, that sense ourselves, um, understanding our thoughts, our feelings, our needs, and the place of each of these where they best serve us, rather than uh, maybe always deferring to one over all the others, um, or um, kind of devaluing one of them over the others, and so on. Really kind of getting clear with ourselves in a lot of ways. So that is the numerology for the day ahead. And um, uh, now I would like to share with you the astrological aspects for the day ahead, May 22nd. The aspects will describe the energy that's present in the day ahead and the influences upon us and the energy available for us to use uh, regardless of your individual sun sign. So there are a few of them today. Let's take a look. So I'm gonna kind of stare hard at my notes here. So the moon in Taurus is in triune with Jupiter in retrograde in Capricorn. So this pertains to our inner reorientation in our ideas and perspective about success and what it means to be successful, what it looks like for us. Uh, and that reorientation of our beliefs about success and you know what it is we're aiming for comes from uh, the inside. And if we would like to change our ideas of success, being able to stray away from the ideas imposed on us by others or society or that really aren't in alignment with us is by um, creating a sense of inner security. If you have stability within it, you have the security to really pursue your own path. So it kind of points us in that direction if we choose to embody that, of course. And then, we have Mercury and Gemini in conjunct with Venus in retrograde in Gemini. And this influence manifests as a speed or kind of like things moving more quickly in terms of digesting old feelings from uh, old relationships or situations and potentially uh, being encouraged in expressing what has been left unsaid, whether it's to those people directly or just acknowledging it for yourself. Um, then we have the Sun in Gemini in triune with Saturn in retrograde in Aquarius. And, oh gosh, what does that say? My writing is so small. So, exterior issues of responsibility. So, um, where you are responsible in pertaining to things outside of yourself, so your relationship with, 
with others, external situations, um, kind of being responsible for how you are in the world, how you interact with others, what you're sharing with them, uh, that being kind of highlighted and brought to attention. That could be in a positive way, a negative way, or just sort of seeing things for what they are and uh, having the opportunity to see uh, your influence on things or how you are being influenced by others and what is also other people's responsibility, that kind of interplay. Have to like scroll through the graphics the moon then moves into gemini and so we should our inner selves shift and we may find that we have a need for uh, communication with others uh, some of us may experience it as a need for fun and frivolity for a uh, lightening of the mood um so diversion or social interaction even if virtually is a good idea um, and again, on that more serious serious side, a need to communicate, especially like communication between you and yourself or you and between the significant other people in your life. Then we have Mercury in Gemini squared with Neptune in Pisces. So this energy has a kind of tension to it and it may express itself as your an intellect or your conscious mind being at odds with your subconscious self or your emotions so um there's a few ways it can play out this kind of tension for some of you it may um make it more difficult to understand yourself or to see the relationship between your thoughts and feelings or things happening around you in your emotional responses or it, that tension may actually highlight them and instigate more of a connection between parts of yourselves. Some of us are very cerebral, some of us are very emotional and reactive. We have the moon in Gemini and triune with Saturn and retrograde in Aquarius. And uh, this may express itself as an, a need within us for more connection and to feel part of something. And that can be in that greater sense like part of the universe or part of a group of friends or part of your relationship with another person or uh, just ha having a sense of place where there's some kind of exchange of energy especially feeling like there's equality between you and what that thing you're connected to is we have the sun again in gemini in contact with the Moon in Gemini, which of course is a is the new moon in Gemini. Uh, so the twenty second is the new moon in Gemini, and there is a focus here on your relationship with yourself. Uh, whatever lies in that for you and your inner mind, and uh, new moons are a great time for various kinds of things. I like to use them for releasing or clearing things out uh, because of this highlight on your relationship with yourself. Um, I find the new moon, the energy is very conductive to connecting with your deeper self or with your subconscious. I would just say that if you do that, be aware that you are connecting, that you are choosing to connect with your subconscious self and everything that may possibly, possibly be lying in there. Sometimes that doesn't, um, that's not such a harmonious interaction for people. So just be sure that you really do intend on doing that. If you use it that way, it can potentially be incredibly healing. Uh, deeply transformative and really most of all 
create clarity between you and you. So you are fully on your own team. Your full self is on the same page, so to speak. So very exciting as always. And then finally, we have the, the moon and Gemini squared with Mars in Pisces. And this also kind of points to the relationship between you and yourself, but it's sort of like showing the tension of kind of your relationship with yourself and your relationship uh, with others. It's, um, there's an inner, there's like a sense of energy and initiative being put into emotionally supporting others during this time with Mars and Pisces. And there's a tension between that and you building your relationship with yourself. So it's like these things may be slightly at odds um, during this aspect and needing to contend with um, where you're investing your energy, focusing on your relationship with yourself, which is very important. Everything else kind of comes from that and being there for others. And there's also sort of a jotted a side note, apparently, of a think before you speak. Um, there's there's a lot of emotional reactivity and words just kind of coming out. All right, so that is the astrology for the day ahead. And now I would like to take a moment to say MMR is made possible by viewers like yourself. And thank you. Thank you to the uh, patrons whose names are on screen. Thank you for your continued support and helping me to continue creating spiritual content. Um, also, thank you to everyone who shares MMR each day, helping more people discover this resource. And of course, to all of you who watch, this was created for you. Thanks for making this part of your spiritual journey today. Um, if you'd like to learn how to become a patron of MMR, please visit patreon.com slash morning metaphysical reports. Uh, so subscribed members receive exclusive access to the monthly metaphysical report as well as to other uh, private content or members only. If that interests you, check out the link. And thank you again. So, um, hold on. <laughs> yes, uh, Patreon, uh, those who subscribe monthly uh, to support the MMR and uh, those who donate. Uh, you do allow MMR to continue to exist and to evolve. So thank you so much for that. And now I would like to guide us through a psychic shielding exercise and to set an intention for our day ahead. So shielding is also important each day to protect yourself from uh, any hostile energy or just foreign energy from other people or spirits and to kind of keep away unwanted influence. So you really know that you're thinking your own thoughts, as odd as that may sound, and feeling your own feelings. We're going to do this together, so I hope you'll follow along. Imagine or intend that in front of you, you are drawing a gold heat-warmed cross, and in the center of that cross, see a white rose open and blue. Uh, I like to physically gesture, and I do suggest it, especially if you don't visualize. Um, so next you'll draw the gold energy up, and above you, you'll draw a cross and bloom a rose, and draw a cross and bloom a rose behind you, and below you, draw a cross and bloom a rose. Connect these crosses in a gold vertical ring that surrounds you. Take that gold energy to the side and draw a cross, bloom a rose, Connect to the cross behind you to the other side, draw a cross, and bloom a rose. Connect these crosses in a horizontal ring surrounding you. Stopping here at the side, connect your crosses in a vertical ring going the other direction. So you should be inside of three gold rings. 
Now see uh, gold energy spread, filling in the spaces between the rings so that you are inside of a complete gold sphere. And that concludes the, the sphere casting, the psychic shield casting. And I hope that it serves you well. Um, I suggest casting it, you know, if you, anytime you're around other people. And even if you are at home or right before sleep, if you don't have any other barriers in place. Uh, we're very vulnerable when we sleep and so on. All right. And uh, finally, we're going to set an intention for our day ahead. I encourage you to set an intention for yourself, sort of like a holding an intention for something you'd like to see change or develop in your life and focusing on things that are uh, positive and so on. Uh, you can also accept my intention for you. Uh, we are the creators of our reality, so this is a simple way to engage this for ourselves each day. This day ahead brings us a real sense of solidity and rooting within ourselves, really being fully present in our bodies, in our lives in this present moment, in this place of power where we can affect all change and all healing. We open ourselves to receiving all of our good and we accept all of our good for ourselves. Thank you. We are so grateful, and so it is. Uh, remember to like, follow, or subscribe to um, Facebook, YouTube, or Patreon if you'd like to keep seeing MMR each day. And thanks, as always, for spending this time with me. Uh, taking a look at the comments, someone's asking where the third ring is. So. Let's say this is you or a person. So imagine this is a person. The first ring goes vertically around you like this. And then the second ring goes around you horizontally like this. Let me stop here at the side. And the third ring goes around vertically like this. It's not even necessary uh, perhaps to cast all three rings. That's just the method that I was taught and that I've been practicing since I first began studying metaphysics, and so I'm passing it along the way I was taught it, even though I evolved it uh, as I used it for my own purposes, I encourage you all to do the same. Um, and I'm sitting down in a very confined space, so that's why it's sort of like this. And ultimately I visualize it, the cross is all the way at the edge of my aura, but um, I, when I was first starting out, I would actually stand and you actually swing your, your arm to make the rings. The point is just to be sure you're connecting all the energy so it should be flowing lines. But don't overthink it. Ultimately, the important thing is just putting the intention. And uh, when I'm giving quick advice about shields, I just tell people envision a sphere made of literally any color, material, whatever that you feel is impenetrable and will protect you. Uh, again, I'm just sharing what I was taught because it served me very well. And uh, uh, it was taught to me by my teacher and that one was actually taught to her by her teacher and so on. So, all right. Yes vertical, horizontal, and then vertical, perpendicular to the first ring. <laughs> All right, so uh, also hello Indigo and thank you for the congrats. And uh, if you enjoyed this, also like and follow my page to see my other content. All right, everyone, I'll see you all again soon. Uh, through the weekend, MMR will be pre-recorded and released at a premiere, so uh, you will probably have to come to my page at its usual airtime, 5 o'clock, to find it. Um, the current episode of the day will always be pinned to the top. 
hopefully, if it's not, just scroll down through the feed, uh, because obviously I'm getting married. <laughs> so I'll be very busy during the air time. So just a little heads up, I will also be posting about this on my page. My name is Lysander Xanthus, and this has been the Morning Metaphysical Report. Be most blessed, and have a beautiful day.